Residents say that monster homes are taking over Walton County, causing an overflow of people and not enough parking. But help may be on the way for the decades-long issue. Tonight, News 13's Alexia Chiropolis tells us why. Commissioners think they've found the best solution for the problem. We're seeing a lot of parking on the right of way because there isn't enough parking at these homes, whether they're monster homes or regular homes. Monster homes have been on the rise in Walton County. This has been an issue not only in Walton County, this has been an issue in multiple jurisdictions all over the place uh, as regards to people taking what should have been or what was designed to be single family homes and making them basically many hotels or bed and breakfast. Glidewell says monster homes might be the root cause of parking issues seen south of the bay. And now we've got to find something that not only addresses the issue and that makes things better, but it's enforceable. The board has asked their legal team and the planning department to come up with solutions to limit the amount allowed in one rental property. But right now, with the overflow of visitors blocking the bike path, they're tearing up the bike path. Uh, car doors open, and so, you know, it's, it's a very, very dangerous situation. Glidewell says fixing monster homes is the first step. Next would be enforcing parking. We're going to hire two people to start with. If we, once we see the need, we'll hire more if we have to, but two people to specifically address parking and to go out there and enforce the law. Glidewell is hoping there will be a rough outline on how to solve both of these problems, monster houses and parking, by the beginning of October. In Walton County, I'm Alexia Teropoulos, News 13, Panhandle Strong.